Hello everyone, welcome to another Exchange 2013-2019 Coexistence video. My name is Ed and in this video we're going to be looking at part 9 which is configuring our virtual directories on our Exchange 2019 server. Now in the previous video we configured our Exchange 2019 server with domain joining and IP address and DNS etc. So now that that part's done we're going to move forward to this part. Now, I first want to take you through the uh, recap of the virtual directories that we did previously in one of the videos. And you can see I've logged into the Exchange Admin Center and you can see I'm logged in to the 2019 server, not the 2013 server, but I can do work on both. And obviously for this exercise, we need to configure the 2019 virtual directory. So if you log into the Exchange Admin Center, it will default you to recipients. You click on servers and then you click on virtual directories. And from the virtual directory list or drop down here, you can select your servers. Now, obviously, we'll be going to the 2019 server in a second. But in the 2013 servers, if I just go and look at my ECP, for example, you can see I've configured the virtual directory. Same with EWS. I've got an external URL set. Same with MAPI, ActiveSync, etc. If I come to the 2019 server, you'll see that I pretty much have the same set of virtual directories. However, you'll notice that the ECP does not have an external URL set, number one. If you go into it, this is the f one of the first places you can set the virtual directories. And this is obviously where you'll configure the internal and the external URL. But in our exercise, I'm going to be using PowerShell to configure it because it's a lot easier. So if we go down to our notepad and let's just quickly walk through it, you'll notice that it looks pretty much similar to 2013 or 2016 commands. You'll see that in 2016 and 2019, you have a thing called client access service, not server. And what we're going to be doing is obviously specifying auto discover. We're going to be doing uh, web services, which is obviously your EWS, OA, OAB, ECP, um, MAPI, ActiveSync and Outlook anyway. So I've already pre-configured the list. And if I move across, Obviously, some of it is cut off because it's quite long. So if we scroll across, you can see how long some of these commands are. Now, if you need the set of commands, I will paste them into the video under the description so that you have them and you don't miss them in the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my set of commands, copy them. And now I'm going to launch the exchange management shell. Uh, and I'm going to, obviously you can see I'm connected to the 2013 server. However, the commands are specifying a server, so not to worry. So if I paste, you'll notice that immediately it doesn't like the client access service. Now, I did this for a reason to show you that we obviously need to connect to our 2019 server. But at the moment, it's currently setting the web services virtual directory on our 2019 server. Now, take note that um, it obviously got stuck a bit and it didn't like the internal URL part on here. And it's asking me, do I want to confirm the virtual directory? So this just gives you an idea. If you're running it from a server that is not the right version, you're obviously going to get an issue. Now, if we go to back to our Exchange Admin Center and we do a refresh, you'll notice that it did some of them, but not all of them, as you can see. So the only thing it actually configured was the EWS URL. So obviously you need to run this from 
a server that is the, of the right version. So in our 2013 server, we also showed you that some of the commands are not recognized. And, you know, as admins, if you're dealing with a mix and match of versions, you know, sometimes you run it from the wrong console or you run a command that's not recognized because of the version, it happens. But this is just to show you that it didn't recognize what we had set here. So obviously these commands will have to be run from the 2019 server. Now, my 2019 server is uh, sitting on a different virtual machine, which I need to log into to run. So I'm going to stop this video now and then I'll bring up the 2019 server and that will allow us to run the command. So I will see you for the second part of this video shortly.